You're watching Oddly Cute Pets. There are many misconceptions about snakes, especially where reproduction is concerned. Even though snakes have similar body structures, their environment and lifestyle dictate how their young are born. Some snakes lay eggs, some give live birth, and astonishingly, some species do both. Sea snakes. Sea snakes are from the species of snake known as the lapidae. However, sea snakes differ from other elipids such as cobras, adders, and mambas because they give live birth. Since they live in water where there is no viable place to lay or incubate eggs, it only makes sense for sea snakes to give birth to live babies. The sea crite is the only species of sea snake which lays eggs. A sea crite usually seeks out land to mate, digest its food, and lay eggs. Wrinkles Wrinkles, also known as ringneck spitting cobras, are ovoviviparous. While they are closely related to true cobras, wrinkles differ in their reproductive habits because true cobras usually lay eggs. Wrinkles are very aggressive creatures, and this behavior is thought to be why these snakes developed the ability to give live birth. The self-defense mechanism of wrinkles allows them to protect their young effectively. Vipers and Pit Vipers Most species of vipers and pit vipers, which include copperheads and water moccasins, are live-bearing snakes. Their natural habitat includes Asia, Africa, Europe, and North, Central, and South America. Vipers and pit vipers are also venomous snakes, and they tend to prefer a cooler climate. Water snakes Water snakes are a part of the colubrid family, including rat snakes, corn snakes, and garter snakes. Water snakes are one of the few colubrids which give birth to live young. This is likely due to their habitat consisting of wet areas such as freshwater ponds and swamps. There are not many warm, dry places to lay viable eggs in these waterlogged areas. Snake eggshells are also thin and fragile, which creates a drowning risk if they are laid near a body of water. Water snakes are viviparous, and their young develops inside of a placenta or yolk sac. Garter snakes Garter snakes are also members of the colubrid family, and they are oviviparous. They also prove to be fascinating animals. Garter snakes also have unusual mating habits, as multiple males will go for the same female. This may result in up to 25 males breeding with just one female. As if their mating habits weren't different enough, female garter snakes are also capable of storing sperm for several years. They increase the viability of their offspring by only releasing sperm to be fertilized when environmental conditions are favorable. Female garter snakes give birth to anywhere from 3 to 80 babies, staying pregnant for 2 to 3 months. Boa constrictors Boa constrictors are viviparous snakes. Female boa constrictors are usually pregnant for 4 to 5 months, and then they give live birth to around 10 to 60 neonates. While other boa species are thought to give live birth due to their natural environment, it is unknown why boa constrictors became viviparous. Death Adder Death adders are a member of the elapidae family, including cobras, krites, and coral snakes. Most elapids lay eggs, but death adders differ because they give birth to live young. A female death adder will give birth to anywhere from 10 to 32 neonates in a single litter. The word adder comes from an Old English term meaning snake, and most adder species are venomous. However, contrary to their name, death adders are non-venomous snakes. Death adders will usually resort to playing dead when they are threatened, and they rarely bite, even though they are capable of striking in less than one-tenth of a second. White-lipped snakes White-lipped snakes are a subspecies of elipids. They are very small and are usually only recommended to experienced reptile keepers because of their temperamental personalities. White-lipped snakes are viviparous, and it is believed they evolved to give birth to live young because of the frigid temperatures in their native habitat. A gravid white-lipped snake can get into the sun to warm itself and, in turn, the babies growing in its body. This ability allows the developing embryos to achieve much higher temperatures than in a nest underneath some leaves and soil. Anaconda All anaconda species, including the yellow anaconda, green anaconda, darkly spotted anaconda, and the Bolivian anaconda, give birth to live young. It is believed they developed this trait because anacondas are aquatic snakes. The large size of the anaconda also plays a factor in why they give live birth. 
There are many predators in an anaconda's natural environment, and these animals would likely be successful in stealing eggs. However, they are much less likely to want to face a 15-foot gravid female anaconda to steal her babies. Amazon tree boa The Amazon tree boa is an arboreal snake species, and they give birth to live young. There are two subspecies of Amazon tree boa. The Corallus horchulanus horchulanus subspecies are native to the Amazon and southeastern Brazil. The other subspecies, Corallus horchulanus kuki, lives in the southern areas of Central America and Venezuela and Colombia. Amazon tree boas become sexually mature at three years old, and they are pregnant for six to eight months before giving birth. Rattlesnake There are several species of rattlesnake, and all of them give live birth. Rattlesnakes are ovoviviparous, which means the eggs are incubated inside of the mother's body. Once the embryos are fully developed, they will hatch, and the rattlesnake will give birth to live neonates. Rattlesnakes are highly venomous, and it is much easier for a snake to use the self-defense mechanism than it would be for her to protect a nest of eggs. Check out the video description below for links to our website. If this video was helpful please subscribe and give it a like. Thanks for watching.